told you I'd take video again when I knew where I was, and I know where I am now. Hooray! So I always get to this sign, and when I get to this sign, I don't know what I do. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I do. I once, I was trying to get to Zisenji, and I went that way, but it was getting dark. It was probably about four in the afternoon, and it was getting dark, and there was a scary bamboo grove, so I got really scared, and I followed this old couple home, um, <laughs> because I did not know where I was. So you could see that way is uh, Zui Senji. Um, that's where we would have come from if we went the long way. But we just came from that way, and you could see Kakuonji. Um, we actually didn't go to Kakuonji, but we did uh, come from that direction just before Kakuonji. And we are going to go that way to Kinchoji. Uh, Kinchoji is about 1.9 kilometers, which in miles is one mile. 1.25. Oh, 25. 1.25. You could talk. You have a voice. So, it'll be about a um, mile and a quarter. Not too far. That way. That's pretty tricky. So, we're going to continue on. Um, there's one more place that I'll show you along the way. Um, uh, it's kind of like that place back there that I showed you. The temple carved into the stones. So, it's kind of the same thing. So, when we get there, I'll take a little bit more video. And you will hopefully like it. Keep watching. Okay, well we are at another one of the cool little stone places that I have told you, that I told you about earlier. Um, this one right here, I don't think it's man-made, um, but it's really cool looking. Uh, if it starts raining, I could hide under there and get eaten up by all sorts of bugs and spiders and snakes that live in there. So I probably would never hide under there. But anyway, so this is it. It's really nice. There's one more along the way that is man-made. It has a temple on top of it, kind of. Well, it's more like a little shrine, a little tiny small shrine. But uh, this is one of the places that I really like that every time I see it, I love it. It's just so pretty. So it's really nice. And then you have the beautiful view of nothing but woods, no houses, no nothing except airplanes, but unfortunately uh, airplanes are everywhere in Japan. Everywhere I am an airplane is, I do believe, so, but really pretty area. And up here, we actually have to climb the rock sculptures. Abunai. It's dangerous over there. Uh, so there was a stone way you can walk there, but apparently it was too dangerous, so you shouldn't go that way. Instead, you go this way, and they put a rope in. There wasn't a rope here last time. I had to climb it myself. That's ah, cheap. Okay, well, more to come. Where we just were, so we went up the cheap rope. And back there is that stone structure. Right there is a really nice view of Kamakura City. There you go. And it'll get better. There's a better view, so don't be sad that you don't get to see it. And up here is the last stone structure that I think is really cool. Now, like I said, this one, I'm pretty sure is man-made. If you look at it, to me, it kind of looks like remnants of a castle. That's what it is in my brain. Remnants of a castle. But not really, because... It's not really a castle, and I know that. Um, but you can see that it does have some structural integrity. So it was made by man. A man did. I mean, of course the rock wasn't made by man, but it was carved out by man. I'm sorry about the wind. But there's some bad weather coming in later tonight. Some rain for the first time in like a week after a week of raining, so, and in the side of this, you can barely make it out, but just a little bit, you can see some country, so, um, and over there, there's
there's actually some much deeper kanji. So, um, because A, I'm not very good at reading kanji yet, and B, it's so faded, I have no idea what it says. So, if by some way you can make it out, please let me know what it says. It's pretty cool, I think. This is like one of my favorite places on this trail, just because it seeps with history, I think. So, it's really cool. I, need I ran out of memory! Ah! Luckily, I'm always prepared. I had like four extra memory cards. So, now, as I was saying, so this is the little shrine temple thingy. I'm not, I have no idea what it is. And here is the cave where all the statues are beheaded. That kind of scares me. So I'm just going to poke my head in there and then leave because I don't feel comfortable in here. All the statues have lost their heads. <laughs> I don't like it. And then you can see the stairs right here that I'm going to climb up. And up there, you can see another statue. So, and this one is actually still worshipped today, and you can tell because those flags weren't here last time I was here. So, this temple is still used today, um, so it's really pretty. Again, I don't know who or what it is or what it's called or if it even has a name, but I think it's a rather cool little thing. It's my, one of my favorite places here. It's really pretty, kind of serene if the wind isn't blowing 100 miles an hour. So that is all from Ten End Trail. That's all I'm going to shoot from here. Oh, no, it's not. I lied. So that is all for now. Um, the only other thing in Ten End Trail that I'll show you is the really pretty view that is really close to Hans uh, It's You can see all of Kamakura. And when it's not humid, like today, or when it's not hot, like today, you can see Mount Fuji. But today we won't be able to see Fuji sun. So, uh, but that's it for now. More to come with a pretty view of all of Kamakura. I forgot one more little uh, stone carving. I've been, I haven't been here since last autumn, so it's been a while since I've been here. But this one I like a lot because it's so old and you can just tell how old it is because it's just carved into this stone and there's no more detail on it anymore. So you can't see the detail or anything on it anymore. So, I love it. Love it. I mean, for me, it's great to imagine, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years ago, somebody was hiking in this mountain and decided that this would be a good place to carve stone homage for homage for uh, his favorite god or deity or his king or something so I find it fascinating so this really is the last stone sculpture I promise before the next thing I will show you which is the really good view of Kamakura which is that way and Yokohama you could also see Yokohama which is that way. So, more to come soon. Actually, I lied. So right there's the stone sculptures. And right here is a fantastic view of Kamakura City. So right down there is all Kamakura. And you can see the ocean, Umi, way over there. Um, the Kamakura Beach is the best beach I've been to so far, so it's really, really pretty. And I don't know if you can hear me because of this wind, but I hope you can. 
<laughs> Windy! So, that is the last footage I will give you from Kamakura. So, I won't take any more footage here. I hope you enjoyed my short little trip. And I hope you enjoyed the hike. And if you're ever in Kamakura, try to find Tinin hiking course because it's definitely worth it. So, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more tourist videos. Peace.